Mike Manser, a guy from 70s who kinda looked like that he was a main actor in movies for adults and also a bodybuilder. Lately his name has been showing up on the internet more often than my name has been showing up on the sex offenders list. Now I can't be the only one who's seen probably around 800 videos or sorry reels of this guy with a moustache. No, not this one you creep, this one. You see, whenever there's a new trend in this decaying fitness industry, people get hyped up and just worship it without doing any research to form their own opinion. Man, I don't even have an opinion. Well, you gotta have an opinion. So when those trends lose their popularity, they just die and are forever forgotten like they should have been from beginning because most of them are a load of horseshit anyway. But this time, that's not the case. The reason behind Manser's recent growth in popularity is his infamous heavy duty training style, which could be described as stop being a pussy and train hard. Very hard. Good, 22! Who's gonna carry the boats in the law? Now, personally, I always agreed with most of the things Mike preached back in the days, because unlike most of the meatheads playing in this industry, <laughs> Mike Manser was well educated, well spoken and just a very intelligent guy after all. Looking back at his training advice with all the studies and research we have nowadays, we can say with confidence that this guy really knew what he was talking about and was slight years ahead of his time. Back in the 70s and 80s, world was a much better place you see, but not if you were looking for some decent advice on how to gain muscle, since everybody praised training 6 times per week with a massive amount of unnecessary volume. I'm looking at you Arnold. And Mike was kind of a black sheep of the bodybuilding world at that time. He knew well how important recovery is, especially for natural athletes and just how unnecessary it is to train day after day, set after set, until you collapse on the ground like you do in the nightclub at 3am. He always reiterated that the fastest and most optimal way to gain strength and size is actually training less and focusing on quality instead of quantity per sets. In other words, don't stop at 9 reps if you can do 11 for the sake of saving your strength for the second set because second set is pointless here. The big idea is that you warm up with lighter weights and then put all of your energy and mental focus on one single set and move on. You also do a maximum of 3 exercises per muscle group per workout and train no more than 3 times per week. It's pretty simple, so should you train like that too? Well, it depends. You see, it's kinda like spending the night in the god girl's basement. Not everyone can push through it, especially not someone without proper experience. So let me explain. I am and always have been a supporter of low volume slash high intensity training. And I have to admit that Mansell's approach is pretty extreme. So before you start following it, please see if you master everything written on this little piece of paper. Thank me later. Look, if you're a beginner without any real lifting experience or you just joined the gym because you hate yourself, your first goal should be finding a muscle mommy to sit on your face so you can sniff the uh, Sorry, I got carried away. Your first goal should be learning how to properly execute the basic exercises and developing a habit of actually hitting the gym for longer than two weeks. Because in the beginning you don't even need a lot of complication and killer workouts to make progress. If you just jump to Mansor's heavy duty training straight away, I can almost guarantee you that you will get injured. It's like driving a Ferrari at 300 km per hour one day after you got your driving license. Actually this might not be the best comparison because every teenager does this. For me it definitely wasn't a Ferrari, it was my dad's golf and it most certainly didn't hit 300 km per hour mark. But anyway you get the point. <laughs> On the other side, if you're at least an intermediate lifter that has about 3 years of lifting experience behind you, your progress is getting slower and you're realizing that you won't be hitting a PR every workout, so you'll be hitting your wife instead because you have to let the frustrations out. Well, in this case, I strongly recommend you trying Mansor's heavy duty style with some adjustments. And with some adjustments I mean that you don't have to go balls deep into it and copy his training program word for word. My recommendation is that you try hitting every muscle group roughly every 5 days, with 3-4 to four sets done to complete failure and with a strict form. You will soon realize how this is not only physically but also mentally demanding, so my condolences to all the women here. Oh, come on! Anyway. After each set, write down how many reps you managed to do and compare that with your previous workout. After time, start changing some small variables according to your results. In short, experiment until you find your G-spot between volume and frequency. 
also. Keep in mind that every individual reacts differently to different styles of training. Although I experienced great progress after implementing Mantra's methods, that doesn't mean that things will play out exactly the same for you. And don't forget that his genetics were more than amazing, both in terms of strength and aesthetics. And even that's an understatement. The guy benched 370 pounds, that's 170 kilos, at the age of 15 and was the first bodybuilder to receive a perfect score from the judges. So if he had chosen a different style of training, he would still look great, believe me. Now, let me end this video by saying that I have a short list of individuals from fitness industry that I actually respect and listen to. And Mike Menser is on that list. You know what's funny but sad at the same time? His philosophy and common sense still beat the brain dead internet trends that you have to deal with 40 years later. Thanks for watching. Don't hurt me. <laughs>